What's going on, Thorn Army? Joe here, and super pumped, because today I am building my very own custom stick for the Alesh Herbeski, that is that awesome, crazy big box lacrosse tournament over in Red Oteen, Czech Republic. And uh, the reason I'm so excited is I actually haven't built myself a custom stick in a few years, because I've been kind of prototyping and testing all of our new products. So today I get to kind of have these finished products in front of me and go from start to finish on a custom build. Of course, first up is the die. We're going to be using some Potter 2 on a Command 2. I've been using this head for a few projects and I absolutely love it and want one for it myself. So first up, we're going to get the head ready to be dyed and Chris is going to show you a little special technique. Since we're going to completely dye this head, we want to make sure there is no extra kind of goo or adhesive or dirt on the head that's going to screw up our dye. We're actually going to remove the Under Armour logo here and put a thrown one in its place. So we're going to take your paper towels, you're going to rip one off and fold it into quarters and then put some acetone on it. You don't really want to soak the rag because it's not great for your skin. Uh, just be responsible when using acetone. And then you just want to go at the Under Armour logo. It's going to take some time. You're definitely going to put some elbow grease into it, but eventually it will remove and then you'll be able to replace it with whatever you like and you just want to wipe down the entire head and make sure you get all of the extra adhesive from where the ball stop was uh, just get all the extra dirt and goo off of it so you don't have any imperfections when you actually dye the head for this we're going to be doing an ombre dye just as we did with the fire and frost we did a tutorial video on that definitely check the link in the description below if you're interested in how we do this uh, our team is actually green and yellow I'll tell you a little bit about them later uh, kind of a unique color combination and I kind of thought of like a venomous kind of poisonous kind of look to it so we're going to be using three different shades of green kind of starting with volt going to neon green and then to Kelly to get that really cool ombre of course we're going to go from lightest to darkest so first up is the volt The ombre takes a good amount of time because you are layering all of those colors, but with Potter 2, uh, you get a really nice blend through all of them and it gives the stick an extremely unique look. And now that the dye is done, we're gonna be moving on to the mesh. This year I'm going to be playing for a team called the Moon Bears. This is their first year at the Lesher Besky and is organized by Connor Wilson from Lax All-Star, who is a dear friend of mine and actually he was the one that first got me to go over Prague just a ton of years ago, so I owe a lot to him. Uh, this team's pretty awesome. It's got a few Americans, a few Canadians, a few Iroquois, a few Czech, a few Australian, and I think also an Israeli player. Uh, it's pretty much all Connor's friends, which I think is super fun. Uh, seems like a great group of guys that really can play. And I thought it'd be really fun to put together their very own limited edition mesh, which we are calling Ellie Moonbear. It features the unique green and yellow colorway with the white sides. Uh, it's very similar to some of the earlier limited editions we did. Nice and clean and classy for a team. Um, and the green and yellow is kind of a unique colorway that always doesn't look great, but I think with the white and kind of the classic fiber two pattern in it, came out really nice. We also did a matching limited edition kit for this as well. So we have the sidewall that again has the green, yellow, and white. And then we have a yellow nylon with the gold tips and white shooters. Since this is my stick, of course, we're going with the W4 pocket. And yes, it's pretty much the exact thing we did with Fire and Frost, but I just love those sticks so much. And we also have a tutorial on how to string this exact setup. Again, link in the description below. This stick is turning out amazing, but my favorite part has to be the charitable donation we're going to be doing with the LE Moon Fair system. So everyone on this team is pretty much involved in lacrosse. Is it coaching, mentoring, being in the industry, or developing new programs all over the world. And that's kind of the mission statement I see for the Moon Bear. So what we're gonna do is any piece of Moon Bear sold on thrillmacross.com, we're gonna be also donating a piece to a developing country. So I'm going over there knowing that we're gonna be playing Team Hong Kong. They are in our pool, which I think is super cool to play an Asian team. I've never played them, and this is their first year in the tournament. And I think that's really special. So it's gonna be really cool to not only hook up the boys with some really cool team mesh offered to you, but also make a donation to a developing country. 
With the head all finished, of course, we're going to move on to the custom riff because no throne custom is complete without one of those. And for this, I maybe went a little bit crazy, but I absolutely love the way it turned out. And uh, we're working on a new coating system for the metal section of the riff system. And I thought heading over there, playing a bunch of box lacrosse, this would be a great time to field test the coating and see how it holds up. I just went a little bit crazy on the color, but I think it's gonna turn out insane. So we want this crazy kind of like neon grainy Smith apple candy uh, green color, uh, which I just fell in love with uh, when I saw uh, the swatch of it. And then to finish it off, which was Chris's idea, which brings it totally next level, uh, we finished it off with some gold metal flake, because of course, I love gold. I love gold! Here is the stick all finished. We are calling this the Venomancer because it's got that crazy kind of like toxic venom look to it. Uh, the ombre into the carbon is such a clean look and then back into the color, just like we did on the Fire of Frost, of course. The yellow trim on this makes it like super Oregon, which I didn't really think about when I was doing it, uh, but it's just absolutely sick. And then of course the black, the black, and the black gives it a nice hard edge. Getting into the mesh, uh, really kind of cool old school collegiate look. I like kind of that it's the original fiber two pattern, but in a new color that doesn't have the gray or black in it. Uh, just gives it a nice kind of different look, uh, bringing it back to where kind of the fiber two all started, which is really nice. And then having the matching kit for it with the green and yellow and the string, Kind of makes it nice and soft again and really combines all those crazy kind of green yellow colors and uh, it just looks insane so we're gonna go hit the field because of course i gotta break this in and get used to it before i get on the plane Venomancer is a bit loud compared to my normal sticks, but I think it's just such a unique colorway. And it's got a really awesome look to it. And I just love that coating on the shaft that really just brings it next level for me. It makes it super unique. As always, I'd love to know what you think about it in the comments below. And right now, Ellie Moonbear is now available at throwemacross.com and select retail partners. As always, I will have links and info in the description below. Really excited about that. Really hyped on being able to donate a bunch of mesh to developing countries. That's everything. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you on the field.